some days when I offload and push and then offload again 70 kilos of feed I think I might actually be a beast and I didn't even drop an orange Every time you go away, you have to bring in a, a lot of feed. Trying to make just one wheelbarrow trip. Don't know if this is going to work. I managed, and it's quite a steep little hill. So when things happen, it seems to have a bit of a domino effect. I don't know why. Because today actually hasn't been too dark. It's been overcast, but there's been quite a bit of light still. But anyway, my inverter is as dead as a door now. See, you can switch it on. Nothing happens. And it seems to have died. So um, I don't know what this all means. And I can run the generator but because the generator is connected to the inverter, which is, goes into the house's power, the generator just uses fuel and does nothing because it can't power the house if the inverter is not working. So I don't know how to get this inverter working. I don't know. I don't know anything about electricity. doing the buckets of feed and guess who have come to fetch me mm. three sheep some people have been asking about peanut he's in the pen next door to sweetie pie and her piglets this fence is actually my bar well it's not quite my boundary is actually probably halfway into the pen they've made but peanut has grown very big and fat yes and he belongs to the girls next door but he's growing very quickly hey peanut and they've got an electric fence up he doesn't escape he just eats and sleeps 6 30 in the morning it is still pitch dark and I am on my way to the airport, uh, this time for a workshop in Paris for the weekend.
Nothing. The fuck is gonna kill them, dude. They're gonna be more than dead. <laughs> 